Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my blog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. So here's the wine, here's the coffee, and today I'm drinking coffee. So right now I'm wearing, using my Smart Sips coffee. Well, I'm not using it, I'm wearing it. My, no, I'm not wearing it either, I'm drinking it. I, I'm gonna have to start over, aren't I? Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my blog, Coffee, Tea, Wine, and Life. And I just want to thank you all for joining me again. So your support is amazing, and oh my gosh, I love each and every one of you, and I appreciate you so much. So thank you, everyone. If you're new to my channel, I hope you consider hitting that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. So anyway, today, starting a vlog for the new week actually i just finished my vlog week for the week before so i'm in the same gear but maybe you'll forget by the time you see this but anyway i've got coffee coffee i've got wine and in here i have coffee so today i'm drinking from smart sips coffee this is the white chocolate raspberry and it's very sweet you really taste that raspberry mixed with the coffee um but it's not as chocolatey. I think the white chocolate makes it a little bit more milder. The chocolate chocolate raspberry coffee was just a little too strong on the cop, on the uh, chocolate part of it for me. So this I like much better, but I probably would not buy a box of it. I think it's something you would get sick of, but just as a flavor every now and then during the month, uh, it's perfect. So let me have a sip, put this down and get started. Oh, I love coffee. So anyway, I hope that everyone has had a great week and you're getting ready to enjoy the weekend. And it has just been crazy the past couple of weeks at work. And it is, um, yeah, I mean, it's, I enjoy being busy. I, I love that. I feel like I contribute a lot, you know, to, to work and, and helping out other people and keeping everyone abreast about what's going on with the machines and deliveries and just kind of keeping everyone going and, um, to me that's important just to kind of be the central person and I think that's probably what I've been become over the years and I appreciate that I mean you know I'm not a principal of the company or anything like that but I really feel like the owners treat me like that I'm a part of the company and for owners to make you feel that way it's it's really a good feeling and I know they would do anything for me and uh, so I don't mind putting in the hours for them so it's really amazing other than having to learn new software I hate learning the software I'm too old for that but anyway I have got no idea what possessed me to sit on the floor today but now that I'm on the floor and I can't get up and I got all these boxes I figure I might as well try to get some done right because I can't get up um, at the end of this if I if I um, if I say if, it, if anybody's around here like in a five mile or a ten mile radius can you come and help me get up that would be so appreciated i've got coffee and wine that i can give you as a thank you so yeah but anyway because getting old it's not as much fun as you thought it was going to be i mean you, it's easy to get down on the floor it is not so easy to get up again yeah and putting on a sports bra sure they look nice and cute but my gosh you put both shoulders out trying to put them on and oh my god you cross your legs and you get you pull a muscle in your leg yes it's getting old it's no fun but I suppose it beats the alternative. I think one of my, um, when I first came, well, he wasn't really my boss. He was the prior owner to the person that, that bought the company from him, but he was still, um, stayed on as uh, kind of like a director to help out. And of course that owner passed away and he stayed on a little longer. But uh, one of his favorite sayings was, um, well, I woke up this morning, there's still fog in the mirror, or I'm happy to be on this side of the side. Uh, you know, there was just all kinds of things he used to say, and it was just it kind of puts things in perspective. You can be having a bad day, but hey, there's still fog in the mirror. You're okay, right? So anyway, I've got a few boxes to do that have come, been coming in. So one by one, you know, we're going to get through them. And today I'm going to try to knock two of them out of the way, but anyway, um, just uh, wanted to come on real quick, say thank you everyone for your support. Um, yeah, you guys are amazing. And oh, I wanted to share a story with you too. So I don't think I mentioned this the, the other week, but 
um, I heard a noise outside. It was probably about three in the morning. And um, yeah, so I went to see, looking out my windows and my, um, like the garage lights were off and the lights on the front porch were off, but I still had like the landscape uh, lights on. And there was a raccoon in my front yard. And he was like standing on his hind legs and he was, oh my gosh, he had to be two feet tall and so, so big. And I've never seen a raccoon in my yard before. Like I know a couple of houses down from me, their dogs used to attack the raccoons and rip them apart. And yeah, and they kept going back there, but they never came in my yard. And so to see one in my front yard was kind of scary. So I came in and I asked, Alexa, what do raccoons eat? What do what, what raccoons eat? And she told me they eat the children and small cats. Please put them away. And I'm like, Oh my God, they do? So, yeah, I was terrified. So I wanted to call my neighbor and say, is your cat outside? Because their cat likes to go outside. And Mr. Griffin's outside. I, sometimes in the middle of the night, he has things and he has to go running around. And I'm like, oh my God, the raccoon's gonna get them. But, you know, I waited till like 6.30 in the morning and I said, there's a big raccoon in my yard, keep your cat away. And uh, he's like, raccoons don't eat cats, Nancy. And I'm like, but Alexa said they did. No, raccoons do not eat cats. So I'm like, okay. So anyway, then, right? So she scares me half to death. So now there's a, an opossum in my yard in the middle of the day. I've never seen an opossum. What are they doing in my front yard? I live in a residential neighborhood. Sure, I've got woods and stuff behind me, but why can't they stay back there? What are they doing in my front yard? Yeah, so that kind of freaked me out that there's an opossum in my yard and a raccoon. And opossums I thought were night people. Well, night animals. I don't know what they're doing out in the middle of the day, but that kind of freaked me out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, things scare me, yeah. I mean, if hummingbirds scare me, then you can imagine what wild animals do. But I, I've, I've got to tell you another story. So, you know how Mr. Griffin loves to come over to the puppy next door? And he is always in, I've got like views along the front of my house, these uh, little bushes, whatever. And I have no idea, but rabbits seem to be attracted to them. And there's always wild rabbits. And so he is constantly going in the, bu the bushes out there and chasing the rabbits all around the house and into the backyard. And I don't know, he just doesn't catch them, thank goodness. But yeah, it's really fun. So Mr. Griffin's got a cat sister and she's been coming over quite a bit. She doesn't like to be inside. She uh, will pee down the grate, so they keep her outside a lot. And she is constantly coming over with Mr. Griffin. And of course, I give him bow treats. She's got her little cat treats that I give her, and he's got his puppy treats. And she's in the bushes too, chasing rabbits. She was over the other day, and I saw her kind of going into the use, and I'm like, so I open the door to see what she's doing. And a rabbit pops out, and the rabbit's hopping, and there goes the cat chasing the rabbits. It's, cats don't chase rabbits, do they? I think she thinks she's part dog. Yeah. So anyway, that's my, that's, my, that's a pretty sad one. That's the exciting part of my week is waiting for Mr. Griffin and his kitty cat sister to come over but uh, okay that's that's okay it's okay right to think that's funny but anyway so I have got a lot of boxes that haven't been coming in and I just died uh, yeah I just have not had much energy to open them I've been work every day last week I worked 15 hour days 15 and a half hour days and uh, I just had no energy for much of anything and yeah so hopefully I'm not going to work today, but uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so I will probably work about eight hours tomorrow, maybe. Maybe. I think I think I may be, but you never, you never know with me. But I do have some boxes to start opening, and I just, um, hope, hopefully I can maybe cut it back down to 12 hours next week so that I can have time to work on YouTube for a little bit, because, oh my gosh, I feel so bad that I haven't responded to anybody, or I haven't had a chance to watch any videos last week, and yeah, life. It, it gets in the way, doesn't it? I suppose that's a good thing, but it does get in the way of your fun sometimes. But anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me, and I hope to be able to chat with you during the week, and if not, I will talk again Friday at the end of the week and just let you know how things are going. Thanks, everyone, for joining in. I hope you have a great week. Bye, everybody. Love you guys. Take care. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Friday. I'm back in my corner over here. I actually am going to I'm, I'm going to go back to work on my planner. I'm really excited about doing that. I've got some pictures that I want to do for. Um, actually, it's going to the week I'm working on is going to be um, last week's, which is uh, Sabrina. 
our youngest daughter's birthday week, so I'm excited about doing that. So that's how I'm going to get back into starting on my planner, and then I will probably try to show that for Wellness Wednesday. I am hoping, hoping that I can look into uh, YouTube this this week. Um, I had such great expectations uh, last week. Um, I think you, I think on Saturday when I started my vlog or Sunday, whatever. I think you saw me sitting on the floor with all those boxes behind me that I had to do, and it was like I was so excited that I was going to maybe try to do a box a box a day or an unboxing at least every other day just to try to get get through them all. And I was hoping to work on YouTube because I hadn't worked on YouTube the week before too much, and just I wasn't even going to comment on my videos. I was just going to go straight to watching other people's videos and just just try to get a couple hours in, but it did not happen. I worked most every day this week till 11.30 again. One night I woke to 2 in the morning. Tonight, I only work till 9 o'clock and it feels like half a day. I am so excited about leaving work at night and only having a 13 hour day. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was just, um, I mean, we're busy at work as it is. But it's, it's the playing around in the new software and we're calling it, you know, the sandbox version because it's nothing I can do that can break it. And, um, so it's just kind of learning how to do different things in there, make templates and uh, put in data for the different machines and the assets that everybody has and the contacts and different notes and how to make tasks for people and I mean there's so much this software can do. So and I've tried to maybe try to work, watch a few tutorials and then try to do some work on my own and my boss has been cleaning up the data from the old system to go into this one a little bit more smoother. And um, so we are ready on Monday. Monday, um, uh, he and I are going to sit down with our sales guys and do a little demo for them. Stuff that he's been doing on the side and then stuff that I've been doing to show them what they can do. And so, yeah, so, yeah, I, I and you know me, I, I hate change. I hate learning the software. I hate change. But I'm excited about this. I have no idea why. No idea, but yeah, I'm excited about it and just uh, excited to show the guys uh, what the software can do, so I'm excited. And then, um, so we get to play with it um, again all next week, I think, and then I think starting the Monday after, we go live. The whole new system is going to be integrated and we go live, so that is going to be good. But it does take extra time and um, yeah, so I'm going to be looking forward to getting that done and just... Uh, slowing down at work and just being able to have some more free time because this is killing me. Yeah, I'm, I lost my voice today at work and um, I think I was on the phone talking to someone and I could feel my voice uh, just getting kind of softer and huskier like I was a heavy smoker or something. It was just getting really deep and just cracking and I had water and I had flavored water. I had margaritas. I mean, I had everything I wanted to drink today and yeah, all of a sudden I just, I couldn't talk anymore. It was my voice was gone and I think it was just because I was just so tired so looking forward to maybe working on YouTube this week but trying to catch up on some sleep and yeah and no work at all this weekend no I'm not going to do it I'm not going to open my emails I'm not going to VPN to the system I am not doing any work this weekend so I'm excited about that any work I do is going to be fun it's going to be working in my planners or planner wherever it is and getting to watch some YouTubes and videos and comment and I'm really excited about that. I'm going to forget about really the unboxings until um, I do a little bit more catching up in YouTube and then and maybe I'll get back into it except for one. Yeah, I pulled one out. I pulled out the one from Purple Toad Wine, the uh, winery, so I'm going to open up that one and then I'm going to have a glass of wine and maybe watch some YouTube, so I'm excited about that. And today to work I happen to wear my wind down uh, t shirt that I got a couple weeks ago from the Purple Toad Winery. So, Purple Toad Winery. And of course, he's kind of green and purple. So, I wore this uh, purple sweater that I got from Warnable. It's the favorite item that I got from Warnable. And it's just, uh, just a really beautiful shade of purple. It's got like the brass button details, and it's uh, just, just love it. And I got the earrings that I got from my last stitch fix. So I'm really excited. I forgot I got myself a Valentine's Day gift. And then I forgot to even have any. But anyway, so I got this glass. And I thought it would be kind of cute for Valentine's Day. So it says, 
I enjoy long romantic walks down the wine aisle. Yeah, me and my wine glass. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. So I should probably put this over here while I try to figure out how to open up my wine box without knocking my webcam and, and everything over. But anyway, you've seen the box before. And, and it's only got three bottles in, so it's not that heavy. And this time I ordered a sweatshirt from them. So it'd be like, well, I don't know if it's the exact same design as this, but I'll put this down so I don't hurt myself. I think I would have my exacto knife over here, but let's do these scissors, shall we? But anyway, I hope everyone had a great week. Um, and you're ready to relax and have a great weekend. I know they said like we've had like two million people get vaccinated in Minnesota. Uh, I know there are, I'm not sure if the restaurants are supposed to be at full capacity, but all the parking lots are full. The restaurants just seem to be um, busy, busy, busy. And um, yeah, so every place I went by, um, it just seems to be really, everything's opening up. So that's good. So this is my sweatshirt. So it's that same design, nice black heavy sweatshirt. Could have probably used that a little bit earlier when it was 30 below zero, but I am going to look forward to maybe wearing this out on the deck on a cool summer night, sitting by the fire, either having my Smart Sips coffee or a glass of wine. I can go either way. So, and then this time, and of course this time it's plastic, it's a little bit different, but it's the same thing. And I know uh, Raina Lynn, uh, Raina Lynn Naipo, a Hawaii YouTuber girlfriend, she had just wondered, um, you know, to, for recycling this, um, you know, of course I can't think of anything that I would do, but if anyone has any, like, do-it-yourself ideas, any decorating ideas to use that plastic to recycle would be really great. So anyway, I got, uh, I don't think I've had this one before, I just kind of, sometimes I want to experiment. So this one's called Midnight Blue, and it's blackberry and blueberry wine. Alright, so let's put that over there. And this one, I got uh, the last time and it was really, really good. And I put like five or six extra syllables in the name, but it's Paducah. It's Paducah, Kentucky. So Paducah White, this was really, really good. I think it was a mix between a Chardonnay and something else, but it was on the sweet side, so it was, it was good. And this one is Hannah's Black Honey, and that is another sweet wine. So that was my three bottles of wine, and I got, which would, would have got me at over the $40. At $40, you get free shipping from them. And um, so I'll just leave all that information in there at, at the end. I'll just do like I did last time in case anyone's uh, in a state that they ship to or if you're lucky enough to live near Paducah, Kentucky and you can go check them out for yourselves. But which one do I want to try? I'm going to go for the blackberry and blueberry. It's probably going to be too sweet. But it's a four. So again, Midnight Blue. Blackberry and blueberry, even if it's not coming up for you. And then it probably says a little bit of information in the back. Okay. But you got Alrighty, so I don't want to keep you guys too much longer. But it's really been a stressful couple of weeks trying to. Uh, deal with the uh, influx of, or I guess I don't need this little doohickey, the influx of work activity plus the learning the new software, but like I said, I am feeling like there's a light at the tunnel and I just feel like, uh, I just feel like the world has been lifted off my shoulders getting closer here. And I love this little thing. Um, if you can, or if you want to pause this, maybe, and get yourself a glass of wine, or a glass of water, 
or a coffee or tea. And just cheers, everybody. You guys are the greatest. I am amazed to have you stop by and so happy and lucky to have you in my life. I just really feel, sometimes I feel like the luckiest woman in the world. Really. I'm blessed. So cheers, everybody. I hope you go out and have a fantastic weekend. Have a great week. We'll chat again soon. Mm. Very, very, oh my gosh, you can really, that blueberry, you can, oh, very tasty. Very, very tasty. Two thumbs up. All right, see you guys later. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye.